Well, I think young people don't under a lot of pressure to go into science, to engineering, STEM subjects. What we want to do today was remind people the humanities, the study of ourselves, our literature, our ideas, our politics, is just as important. As you walk around this building, there are practical, real-world applications of ideas that are changing people's lives right across the world. And I hope that people will see that and think of the humanities not as a kind of pleasant hobby, but as something that is as vivid, as real, and as full of impact as any other subject they have the option to study. It's been a great experience. We saw some paintings about the people in Syria, the refugees. We saw how they made their way and, uh, ex you know, explained their story. I've enjoyed today a lot around the politics, around the environment, um, looking at exhibitions about you know, the key issues of like voting and laws. Within the classrooms we can't do everything, there's not enough time available for us to do it, but I think around here you can really socialise with people, uh, get answers, ask questions, which sometimes you wouldn't have the time to do at school. So I'm the deputy head of sixth form at Cheam High School and we've brought a group of students to really expose them to different ideas and to create curious minds. They were able to actually speak to our leading academics and researchers and professors who are kind of at the cutting edge of some of these research and it really exposes them to different ideas. I'd say it's more natural learning from other people and what they're saying, you know, because at least then you have the interaction of asking them questions and, you know, exchange of ideas rather than just a textbook. We went to the VR headsets and we were able to see people on their menstrual cycle. It really opened our eyes to, like, see how some people have a lot of hardships and normal day-to-day -day things. I think the diversity in terms of the interactions that the kids have had today have been definitely something outside the classroom because in the classroom they're only learning from a specific set curriculum so I think it's good for them because they kind of are able to step out of their general daily comfort zone and activities and they've been able to ask really fantastic questions which has been quite inspiring from a teacher's perspective.